Once upon a time, in the lush valleys of ancient Japan, there was a monastery where lived a young orphan boy, Kaito, who had been taken in by the monks. The monastery was home to monks who practiced Zen Buddhism, a path to enlightenment through meditation, self-contemplation, and the wisdom of simplicity. Kaito, although merely a child, was deeply drawn to the teachings of Zen. He was an attentive listener and an eager learner. But being an orphan and the youngest of the pupils, he often felt out of place and yearned for a deeper connection. The head monk, Master Yori, a wise and compassionate soul, saw potential in young Kaito. He would often tell him, In every drop of water, there is a story of life. In your heart, young Kaito, there is an ocean of potential. Years went by, and Kaito's devotion to Zen grew. He would rise before dawn to meditate, tend to the gardens, and sit with the scriptures. But the other monks, older and more experienced, would sometimes taunt him for his humble origins, doubting his potential. One day, a well-known philosopher came to the monastery to challenge the monks with a Zen koan, a paradoxical riddle or statement used in Zen practice to provoke deep thought. The koan was, What is the sound of one hand clapping? The monks pondered and offered their interpretations, but none satisfied the philosopher. Finally, he turned to Kaito, the youngest and least experienced of them all. Kaito, standing serene and composed, answered, The sound of one hand clapping is like the cry of an orphan's heart, silent but profound, lonely but full of life. It is a sound only heard by those who listen with a true heart. The room fell into a stunned silence. The philosopher was moved and praised Kaito's wisdom, recognizing a truth that transcended mere words. From that moment, Kaito's status within the monastery changed. The monks who had once doubted him now sought his counsel. Master Yori, with a knowing smile, told him, You have found the truth within yourself, my child. Your origin does not define you. Your path does. As the years rolled on, Kaito continued to grow in wisdom and compassion. He became a beacon of inspiration, not only to the monks, but to all who sought the path of Zen. His story, The Orphan Monk, became a beautiful Zen Buddhism tale reminding people that true wisdom and enlightenment come not from external validation, but from understanding and embracing one's own unique journey. You see, in this life, one's origins or circumstances do not define their true potential or worth. The journey towards wisdom and enlightenment is personal and unique to each individual. External validation and approval are fleeting, but true understanding and self-worth come from embracing and acknowledging one's own path. Just as the orphan monk Kaito showed, it's not where you come from but how you choose to move forward that truly matters. This is Ask Motive Story. Thank you for watching and stay blessed.